In order to play the clarinet as best you can with a beautiful sound, we're going to talk about a few things like posture and how to hold the clarinet properly. First of all, with posture, you want to be standing up straight, or if you're sitting down, make sure you're sitting up with good posture, not slouching. You want to be sitting up so that you're very relaxed. In terms of holding the instrument, the right thumb holds the clarinet right below the thumb rest, and your right hand controls the lower joint of the clarinet. Your left hand, the thumb controls these two keys on the back of the clarinet, and the rest of your fingers control the upper joint of the clarinet. So your fingers should be placed on certain keys. Most of the time, the thumb will be closing this key. Sometimes you'll have to hit the register key with the thumb also. The left hand first finger closes this first key with a hole. Second finger, the next key with the hole. And your ring finger is going to close this little hole here, which doesn't actually have a key. With your right hand, your first finger is going to close the first ring key with a hole, second finger, the next ring key with a hole, and your ring finger, the last ring key with a hole. Your pinkies will do all of these keys down here, which we'll learn later. The first finger on the left hand also controls these two keys up here, which we will also learn later. And finally, the right hand first finger gets to control these four keys on the side as well. Not all of these keys are used very often, but they are very useful at times. Now, to make a good sound, we need a good embouchure. An embouchure is how your lips are set up to meet the mouthpiece and the reed. To form a good embouchure, you need to curl your bottom lip over your teeth, over your bottom teeth, and that goes against the reed. Your top teeth are going to rest on top of the mouthpiece. So it looks like this. Then with your lips, you just form a firm seal to make sure no air can escape. The amount of mouthpiece to take into your mouth is not too much and not too little. If you take too little mouthpiece, the sound is weak and small. It sounds like this. If you take too much mouthpiece, you don't have very good control over the sound. It sounds like this. not a good sound. So we need a medium amount of mouthpiece to make the best possible sound. In order to make a good sound, you also have to use your air. 
I take a breath from my lungs, which stretch all the way down to my belly. It's not good breathing to raise your shoulders into something tight. Too much tension, not a good sound. Stay relaxed and breathe as naturally as possible. Fill in your lungs all the way to the bottom. And last of all, in order to keep that beautiful sound, you want to make sure that your cheeks don't puff out while you're playing. Nice and relaxed, but firm, focusing the air through the mouthpiece and not filling up the cheeks. And that's how you can make a beautiful sound on your clarinet.